When we had last left Team Bald, they found themselves with their old wild mage friend from long ago, Nira, inside of a weird wilderness clearing. Yes, it was there that the clearing was meant to somehow obfuscate the location of an encampment of filled with wild mages who were sort of in hiding from the Thean red wizard menace that hunted them down. And by way of traveling through that uh, that clearing, that uh, wilderness, that woodland, without uh, <laughs> without uh, any sort of rhyme or reason, they found booby traps, uh, weird weird plants that were whooshed and smeared all up together. And who could forget? Lots of spiders and ogres and and all sorts of weird stuff and a a bridge that looked broken, but you could walk along it. Finally, Team Bald found themselves at that wild mage encampment, and it was there that they asked for some help. Indeed, they wanted help in finding another member, potentially another uh, wild mage, who had, for some weird reason, decided not to join them initially. And it fell upon the shoulders of Team Bald, perhaps, to convince them at last to flee to the encampment in the middle of the woods. This is Baldur's Gate 2, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. But before we do all of that, let's look around here and chat up some folks, right? We have quite a few to talk to. And also, apologies in advance. Or, I don't know, I guess not in advance. Apologies right now. A uh, bit of a shorter video. Some shorter ones uh, right, for then. Starfield and for Baldur's Gate during the weekend. Because, a uh, bit of a busy weekend. Having... Uh, family and friends over on my partner's side for a little bit of a little bit of a get together reunion thing let's see here so let's talk with this person Barad Ding I, what? oh greetings what's wrong? you seem to be looking for something? or you seem to be looking for something greetings I have some questions for you Sorry to bother you, I must be going. You seem to be looking for something. L looking Yes, I am looking for something. Somebody, in fact. Somebody's to be most accurate of all. Abby, Connie, Alter, Divine, Chanticleer, Evo, Lucy, and Nectar. Seen them about? Is this also a reference to something, and I don't know what it is? These people are your friends? Are they lost? No, I haven't met any people with those names. Sorry to bother you, but I must go. Is that what all these wild mages are going to be? All of the minor ones are just like some kind of cheeky t little weird reference to some other game or whatever? These people are your friends? They are lost? They aren't people. They're very different from people. They're wise and fast, beautiful, soft and agile. My cats. My sweet little babies. You're missing your cats? Uh, perhaps I can do something. Tell me more about you. I'm sorry to hear you've lost track of your cats. What happened? I see. Well, I should be going. Good luck to you. Perhaps I can do something? Tell me more about you. Oh, I'm Barrett Ding. My father was Barbolding. My mother was Esmera Ding. Nay, dang. What? <laughs> okay. Born and raised in Amn, discovered my wild magic at the age of 33. Employed for 42 years as a tax clerk in the government district. Great dislike for rhubarb. Most importantly, my cats are missing. Okay, well, what happened? There were cats in the area when we settled here. I began feeding them. Soon I had a small colony. It was wonderful. They seemed to love me as much as I loved them. But then, curse my luck, a wild surge from one of my spells sent them scattering. I've called and called, but they do not come. I'd like to help you, but tell me something about yourself first. <laughs> but tell me something about yourself. Just anything. 
I'd like to help you, but you have to give me a, a weird random fact about you. <laughs> Baradine, what's one weird fact about you that I should know before I agree to help you with this? <laughs> it doesn't even have to be related. <laughs> Just anything, something. I will do what I can to find them. Wonderful. There are eight, and they can only be in one place now, the wild forest. Just take this food and lure them to you. If you bring all eight back, I'll give you a reward. I, um, apologize if I was rude earlier. I think nothing of it. Farewell, Barad. I will return with your cats. I'll consider doing this, but don't count on it. Goodbye. Be grateful I choose to overlook your rudeness. Farewell. I will return with your cats. Farewell. Man. Okay. I was not anticipating all this. Barad Ding's eight cats. The wild mage Barad Ding has lost his cats. Abby, Connie, Alter, Divine, Chanticleer, Evo, Lucy, and Nectar. I'll search for them in the wild forest using a bag of cat food as a lure. The cats are feral, so they might not be easy to handle. When I found them, I'll return to the hidden refuge. Okay. And we already spoke with King Graham. Cedric! Cedric! You bumbling bird! Where are you? Can I open up these containers safely? Are we gonna get in deep doo-doo? Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. There's gold here. 161. Does that mean something? Yes! That's very odd. You know what? I'm not even gonna take it. Armor and gold scroll. There we are. Great. Very well. And what about up here? Mordekainen's sword. I believe we had found this one before. I think. Upon casting this spell. Oh, no, wait, yeah, this is the one that, yeah, goes into the air and is, okay. I think we had taught that one to Edwin? Just as I would have thought. Okay. How about you back here? Zaviok. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Whoa, long time oh. no see. Wait, well, I guess you just have one of those faces, man. <laughs> Who are you? Me? Okay. I'm... Well, I'm standing here, relaxing in the breeze, you know. I'm Lila Schnub. I'm trying to get to know everyone. What's your name? Wh who are you calling man? I'm a woman. My name is Lila Schnub. So I see. Who are you? I don't have time for more nonsense. Who are you calling man? I'm a woman. My name is Lila Schnub. Totally. Totally. I can see it. I can see it. Don't let it get to you, though. Man is just a label, you know. It's like, not what you are, it's just what I'm calling you. Fine, I have questions I would ask you. That explanation wouldn't satisfy anyone, but I'll overlook it for now. Tell me your name. Forget it, I'm through talking to you. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Zaviak, that's a fun bit. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't hear it. <laughs> Tell me your name. Zaviak, good to meet you. What was your name again? Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. You see all these trees around us? Yes, of course, I see the trees. I'd rather not talk about the trees. No, what are you talking about? Yes, of course, I see the trees. But do you see them? I could stand here and watch them for hours. This forest is, like, immense. It's not that big. Yeah, man, I see it, the immensity. Interesting, but uh, I had some questions for you. I see, sorry, uh, but I should be going. Yeah, man, I see it, the immensity. It's everything. It's like the whole universe rolled into a ball of wild green forest life. You know, I really wish Wilson were here. He'd love to see this. Wilson? That's right, best bear in the world. That guy had heart, you know. Anyway, I haven't seen him around for a bit. Tell him I said, hey, if you see him, I'm going to get back to doing the bruise. Zaviak's great, but I think he got knocked on the head a few too many times in the Black Pits. He's our resident alchemist. 
We only use his potions as a last resort. His magic tends to make them go a little funny. The Black Pits, was he in that DLC then? Or the add-on or whatever for Enhanced Edition? Huh. Where's Wilson? Maybe Wilson was in there too. Oh, what the fuck? God, it's because Jan casted Stone Skin. Fuck me, let's turn off the AI. We're gonna lose all of our money again. Okay, what did we write about Wilson? Let's see. Where's Wilson? Zaviok, an alchemist at the Hidden Refuge, expressed interest in seeing Wilson, the best bear in the world. That must be some bear. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's see. Hey, man, you're back. I hope you bring Wilson around one of these days. Do you have time for some questions? Sorry, man. I'm in the middle of Whoa. something beautiful that I can't really explain. Yeah, it's called Baldur's Gate 2. You weren't here originally, but here you are now, in the middle of it. <laughs> okay, Noctor, the fizzled. Dude, look at this wagon. It looks like a cinnamon roll. Look at this fucking wagon tapestry or whatever canvas. That shit looks like a fucking cinnamon roll up there. Am I tripping balls or does that look like a fucking cinnamon roll? A roll? Well, a whirl too. Okay. Hey. Nasty times are coming, I reckon. I need to not do the right click to get a preview of how they sound because they will always sound different. Welcome. Welcome. Anira brought you, so I trust you're a good sort. She has done so much for me, for Talana, for everyone. I am Noctor, also known as Noctor the Fizzle. Oh. Not the most complimentary, sobriquet, but apt. Uh, what can I do for you? Greetings, Noctor. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Hello, Noctor. You say, you say fizzled is apt? Why is that? Talana and Nira both mention you make the talismans that teleport the mages here. Lila Schnub here. Do you have any magical items for sale? Oh, you are a vendor. Okay. Greetings, Noctor. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Me? Well, I was among the first to see the wisdom in setting up camp here. I think I speak for us all when I say I hope it's a temporary measure that the threat from say will pass, or at least diminish. But while it is strong, I feel we have no choice but to band together and do what we can to protect our own. As for me, what can I say? I'm from Perskull, a trade city here in Arm. I've a fair hand with metal and wood. Some have called me a craftsman. I call myself a tinker, but it's a bit less pretentious. I do have a knack with certain magic items. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss? Okay, why do they call you the Fizzled? Have you ever seen wild magic at work? If you have, consider yourself lucky. It rarely works at all. I'm particularly prone to having spells fizzle. I have a theory that the magical energy that seems to fizzle is really just stored up inside me. It helps me do what I do best. Craft magical trinkets. But it's just a theory, and it's possible I developed it to make myself feel better. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss? Tell me about these talismans of the hearthfire. They can only be used once, and the components to create them are quite costly. But in these dangerous times, they are necessary. I don't suppose you'd be willing to search for and donate some of the things I need. I would be happy to help in any way I can. Tell me what they are. No, I have far better things to do. Tell me what they One are. One talisman of the hearthfire requires a silver necklace. Two oh shit! And three thousand gold. A silver necklace? I don't spend the gold. I melt it down and must have a large supply so I get things just right. Very well. Consider it done. With all that, you can make jewelry fit for a duchess. I suppose I will try to help. I'm an adventurer, not itinerant royalty. I will consider it, but don't hold your breath. 
Okay, yeah, consider it done. I'm sure we'll find another necklace and diamond in due time. Excellent. Return to me with the items, and I should be able to make a talisman in short order. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss? Do you sell any of your magical crafts? Alas, no. Most of the oh. items I make these days would not be of much use to adventurers. Crafting things is within my power, but I have my work cut out for me mending and making things for the camp. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss? That is all for now. Okay. Let's see. A halfling mage, Noctor the Fizzled, is running out of ingredients required to craft talismans of the hearthfire. Magical trinkets that can instantly teleport their owner to the hidden refuge. He asked if I had a silver necklace, two diamonds, and 3,000 gold pieces to spare. I don't think I have... any diamonds, do I? Oh shit, I do! Do I have a sil- Oh my god, I do actually have all of those things! Okay. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, here, I've... <laughs> wow. You're not going to believe this, Noctor, but I've got all it all. Right, just the person I was hoping to see. Are you ready for me to make a talisman of the hearthfire? Yes, I have everything you need. Splendid. Everything is in order. All I have to do is... Okay. Oh, God. Oh, it's just and like the... One talisman of the hearthfire. Use it wisely. As you will only be able to use it once. Yeah, it's like the super crafter lord from before in the docks district. Okay. Well, we got 3,500 quest XP. Or just regular XP. It didn't specify quest. I don't know if there's a difference. Okay. I brought Noctor what he had asked for. He was able to craft a talisman and gave it to me. It may come in handy should I ever need to get to the refuge quickly. Well, I don't I don't think I will need to, actually. Talisman of the Hearthfire. Gripping this talisman tightly, the user is immediately whisked away via magical means to predefined to predefined location. This particular talisman of the hearthfire has been constructed to bring the user to a hidden forest. Refuge. Uh, to a hidden forest refuge within Om. Talisman of the Hearthfire? God. So this whole time? Do talismans of the Hearthfire exist in just Dungeons and Dragons? You know, as like a staple item to return you to, you know, like a, a Hearthfire? Like an inn? Or something like that? D is this just like a commonplace item? Because, holy shit, is, is this not the inspiration for, like, a World of Warcraft hearthstone? Is that what, the, what they, they were riffing on? I mean, it, like, it's no surprise, it's no, it's no big secret or whatever, that World of Warcraft uh, and Warcraft and, <laughs> honestly, Blizzard in general, uh, has always sort of drawn on other other sort of universes and games and like IP for their own rather than just buying them out or licensing them. They sort of do their own riff on it. I have to imagine that this is what, what this is, right? Gotta be. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll give it to Nira. What? <gasps> Can we get another one made? I just wanted to thank you, personally, for all the effort and gold you put into helping me create that talisman. It was a very noble deed, and a pricey one, I know. I will not forget it. Okay, you're welcome. Farewell. Sure. He may be the most normal what one here. Ask? Aside from, you know, like Cedric. Talaner, anyone Cedric, else involved in the main bird. Where are you? arc of this place. Reginald? Why are you familiar? Uh. What you want? I've heard of you. I'll make this short. I'm Reginald. You're not. Talk's done. 
Wasn't Reginald the name of the vendor lord guy from Siege of Dragonspear who showed up along with our, like, moving convoy? Or maybe I'm thinking of some, some other name similar to Reginald. Hello, Reginald. I see you're a half-orc. Where do you come from, Reginald? What are you doing here? Are you a wild mage? Understood. I'm going. I see you're a half-orc. Where Will there be reactivity to me also being a half-orc? So you have eyes. Good. No more talking. Go. A half-orc wild mage, huh? You must have a fascinating story. Wait, I have some questions for you. Very well, I will take my leave of you. I have some questions. Idle chat makes me angry. Go. Reginald gets angry very easily. Hayes didn't want him here at all on account of his temper. I thought changing his name from... Ruggler to Reginald would help, but, well, you can take the name out of the half-orc tribesman, but you can't take the half-orc tribesman out of the, uh, half-orc tribesman. Why are you still here? I said go. Relax, Reginald. Perhaps you're unhappy because you haven't had a good long talk in a while. I'll leave when I choose. I am here to help you people. I see there's nothing to be gained here. Goodbye, Reginald. Huh. So is this how most half-orcs are, actually? Because we are nothing like this. Okay. Perhaps you're unhappy because you haven't had a good long talk in a while. That's it. I'll give you one chance to walk away, else I attack. Okay, I'm walking away. Should Should we have attacked him? Okay, you know what? Let's see what happens if I talk to him again. What now? I thought I'd provoke you some more. You're doing a good job of it. I do not like the way you talk. I see. Farewell. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't like how you talk. That's a little mean, huh? Espe and particularly ironic coming from a half-orc as well. Amani Skull, Kirik Kal... And Merith. Hello there. Merith was uh, someone we had seen earlier, wasn't it? Okay, Amanis. Greetings. I am Amanis Kal, lately of Kalimshan. This is my son, Kirik. Welcome to the Hidden Refuge. I overheard Helana speaking to you. I hope that you can help us. You must have many questions. If you have any for me, I'd be pleased to answer them. Okay. Sure. How did you come to be here, Amanis? Not long ago, I fled to Athkatla with my son. Oh. I took a room that overlooked the water. It was quiet, but I was very afraid the Red Wizards would find me and Kirik. I was also afraid that I would soon run out of money. By chance, I overheard another guest at the inn. An elf named Daxus, discussing oh. a wild mage camp. You cannot imagine my astonishment. He was speaking to Talana. I interrupted, explained myself, and implored her to take us here. Kirik has the talent too, you know. A fact with which I struggle. That is my tale, or part of it. Would you like to know anything else? How did you come to be here, Amanis? You are from Kalimshan? What happened to Kirik's father? Nothing more for now. Thank you, Amanis, and farewell. Is this going to loop us the same dialogue? How did you come to be here? Not long ago, I fled to Athkatla with okay. my chat. Yeah, that is my tale, or part of it. You're from Kalimshan? You like yes. I am a Kalashite, originally from the great city of Kalimport. As a traveling performer, however, I've not stayed in any one place for long since I was a child, though I never felt left Kalimshan till recently. That is my tale, or part of it. Would you like to know anything else? Sure, what happened to Kirik's father? Alas, his death is partly why I am here, so far from the country that I know and love. He was also a wild mage, and together we used our unique gifts to entertain. I know now how foolish and dangerous this was, 
but performing gave us places in the world and the chance to raise our son well. Emissaries of the Order saw one of our performances and killed my husband on the spot. Oh my god! I was lucky and escaped, fleeing with my Kyrick to Om. Forgive me for crying. We have a saying in Kalimshan. The ocean is made of a mother's tears. That is my tale, or part of it. Would you like to know anything else? I mean, isn't there a way in which that the ocean being made up of a mother's tears aligns with like some of the greater mythos about the creation of this planet or whatever? You know, when we were reading one of those books about, you know, like where where magic comes from and all that. Okay, well, uh, nothing more for now. Thank you, Amanis, and farewell. Can I talk to Kirik? I didn't do anything. Um, hi? Why, hello there. Good night. Who are you? Forget it, child. Goodbye. Well, there's actually reactivity here to the time of day. Good night. Who are you? Ki Kirik. Kirkirik, huh? That's uh, quite a long name you have. It's not that long. <laughs> okay. I'm here on important business. Can I ask you a question? I see. Goodbye, Kirik. Can I ask you a question? N uh no. Bye. Weird that the kid doesn't have any voice acting. Okay. What about this person? You're a stranger. Hi there. You're friends with Talana, right? I'm Merit. Oh my gosh, is this is this not just Nira's voice actress, but like pitch shifted up higher? Uh, hello, Maris. Yes, we are. I know her. Yes, I've met her. What of it? Yeah, I guess I guess we're friends. Sure. I'm her friend too. Hayes is not my friend, though. Don't tell Talana, but he is mean. Anyway, Talana, she's been real good to me since I came here. I'm sure she has. She seems a pleasant sort. That's nice, but I should be going. She seems a pleasant sort. Yes. I like Miranda, too. She's funny. There aren't many girls in the camp except for Kirik's mom, and she always seems sad. Kirik is a boy, but he's fun anyway. I'm glad he's here. Hey, I'm here, too. Or at least I'm here right now. Do you remember me saving you from that witch? Oh, yeah! You're the one with pink hair! <laughs> Thank you! Wait. Nira has pink hair? I... Th I guess it's possible. I... I guess that could be true. I thought that was just, like, the, the weird lighting. I thought... I thought Nira maybe had blonde hair? I thought Nira was blonde the whole fucking time! my mom though I understand I never knew my mother and I lost my father the one who raised me anyway my other father is gone too I suppose <laughs> okay that's not horrible I'm sorry for your lost child it will pass I understand I never knew my mother and I lost my father the one who raised me anyway my other father is gone too I suppose hey I didn't know my dad and you didn't know your mom, so we're kind of the same, you and me. You know what? My mom gave me a hairband that was hers. Her hair was so pretty and long, much longer than mine. I I lost it right before I came here. I wish I could have it back. Okay, I, I will look for it, Maris. If I find it, I will bring it back to you. I could try to get it for you. Wishes rarely come true. I could try to get it for you. Really? That would be great! Before I disappeared, I was where the big bridge is in the city. Oh, okay. I think I lost it near some boxes, close to where that witch chased me. There were many crates in that part of the bridge district. I'll look for it there. Perhaps it will turn up then. It likely belongs to some street urchin now. I'll look for it there. I hope you find it and bring it back. I think you will. Bye! <laughs> okay, bye. I know we've got other things to deal with, but I feel responsible for her in a weird way. <laughs> Nira, why, why did you deliver that line like that? I, 
I'd really like I'd really like to help her out. Are there not greater deeds to be done than this? We save ourselves some trouble and teach the child a valuable lesson about loss if we refuse this task. Okay. Let's see, Merith's head hairband. Merith, a wild mage child at the Hidden Refuge, has asked me to find her mother's hairband, which she lost just before Nira rescued her from the Order of the Eight Staves. I should look in or near the crates at the east end of Athkatla's bridge district. Okay. Sure. So yeah. have we talked to everyone out here? I think we have. There's Zaviak. I looked in here, right? Yeah. Baradig. Okay. Yeah, I think we got everyone. Great. So, I think we do this main quest here as part of this for Nira. Right? I think we do this. And then... Right, we go find Daxus. And then that way, we get this done, we can get Edwin back in the party and probably still be able to do this. I wonder if there'll be reactivity to us coming here with Edwin as well. Very well. Being a Thayan wizard and all. Oh, God. Okay, let's head on out. Back to Athkatla. Oh, hold up. What district was it? Let's see. Bridge district. Okay. Just as I would have thought. Over here. This will be simple. No time at all. Oh. Rasad. You're a change, Lila Schnub. It seems to me there was once a light in your eyes, but no longer. Being tortured by a madman does tend to dim some things. The light in one's eyes, the hope for a brighter tomorrow, one's view of humanity. Says the monk obsessed with avenging his dead brother. The look in my eyes is no business of yours, monk. This is the first time someone has said that we look this way. Right? Huh. If anything, us playing a more good character has seemingly led on that we haven't had our hope extinguished in such a way, right? We haven't become, like, apathetic in this way. Okay. Well, yeah, I was tortured by a madman. I believe you will recover all these things. You are stronger than anyone I have ever known. Did Irenicus give you any clue what he wanted from you? Yes, he detailed his entire plan to me. Something to do with awakening an undead squirrel behemoth, as I recall. He kept experimenting, trying to provoke something. I know not what, and don't much care, now that I think of it. No, now let's talk of something else, or better still, not talk at all. Huh. We can either, like, shut him down here, like, shut down this line of questioning, or talk about undead squirrel behemoths. None of these I particularly like. Sure, he, he was- he kept experimenting, trying to provoke something. Whatever it is, I'm glad he kept you alive. <laughs> you and me both. Where there's life, there's hope. I'm sure your happiness was uppermost on Irenicus's mind. <laughs> what, a, what a shitty thing to say. Uh, you and me both. I- I wish there were something I could do. Things were simpler when I was in the Order. The light- less harsh. Now, the world is darker. The light does nothing but cast more shadows. I believe the light will guide us from the darkness, Rasad. In time. Gods, you're depressing. People like us walk in the darkness, Rasad. It was always thus. Huh. Ooh, I kind of like this. People like us walk in the darkness, Rasad. It was always thus. 
right? Even though we're kind of good, we're kind of fucked up in a way. I do like that characterization. All right, yeah, people like us walk in the darkness for Sod. It was always thus. And I think that's just a cool line. Yet, still, we must find our way. Whatever path we choose will be the right one, I'm sure of it. We could just stop, set up a tavern maybe, or a temple, if you'd prefer. And we will. There's no point in worrying about the future, Rasad. Huh. No point in worrying about the future. And yet I do. Huh. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Okay. Well. Greetings. Oh, it's Helena Hayes. told me to meet you here. I am to escort Daxus back to the hidden refuge after you convince him to come, correct? That sounds about right. We'll return with Daxus soon. No, I have a talisman of the hearthfire. He can teleport himself there. He can teleport there himself, I should say. I believe so. Do you think the two of you will be safe? No, I got a talisman. Ah, good. I did not relish the idea of traveling with him, but I'll wait here just in case. Too bad we couldn't have told Hayes this before he left, right? Because he came all the way out here for, like, for nothing, really. It's it's not like he, he went on horseback or, or rode a carriage or there was a train or a car or he teleported out here, right? He doesn't... We, we have the, oppor the ability to just kind of click there and we skip over the trip, you know? Hayes just... He just walked all the way out here and is told... Actually, you'll need to be here. <laughs> I've got the teleporting talisman. All right, very well. Goodbye, Hayes. Okay. Sure. And this is it, then. Okay, yeah. Well, I think... For now, we call it, like I said, sorry. Uh, videos this weekend, a little bit on the shorter side, because we're a bit busy in real life. Uh, nothing too terrible or whatever going on. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But, uh, yeah. When next we come back, we will continue on with this immense slew of Enhanced Edition side quests. Really, really wild how many we've gotten from the Verily. little camp. I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. Mm. Until next time, please... Take care of each other.